Oh, I love Rainbow Resort. This is one of my... Rock on! Woohoo! Oh, the music in this place is so good. It's so it's so calming and peaceful. It's it's fantastic. Oh, I actually probably should have gotten laser there, but whatever. We actually don't need it since we've got sword, and sword can reach upwards anyway. Okay. Oh boy, this stage. This stage, if you um, this stage is a nightmare if you don't know what you're doing, cause. Hold on, I'll explain for a moment after I get through this this part right here. Okay. So... There's obviously a lot of breakable blocks in here. And you might be thinking, oh, I want to use... Um, the Oh, it's those freaking... The freaking burning guys. I forget. They have... Every Kirby enemy has a name. I just... I can never remember. I can remember some of them, but for other ones, I'm just... Like, it's, it's pointless to even try. But you need to get... Okay, here's what makes this so annoying. You need to get burning in order to break through those walls, but it's really hard to break these blocks right here without beam, and so it results in a lot of backtracking, and the enemies keep respawning. It's just annoying. Okay. So let's... Like, that guy right there. Like, he just respawned, like, two steps away from us. Like, what the heck? Okay, so... Since we have to walk right here, we walk left, he's going to reappear. There we go. Video games. Gotta love video games. We are not dying to the frickin' Waddle Dees in this, in this level. Like, if there's one thing I refuse to let happen, it's for to have us die to the frickin' Waddle Dees. Okay, there we go. Um, we died to the frickin' Waddle Dees. Ugh, perfect. Just goes to show that the moment you say that something's definitely not going to happen, it's going to happen. Actually, it probably would be easier to use Spark to get that anyway. I like Spark a lot more than Beam. Also, there are ice physics, for the record, so you will slip and slide. It's thankfully not too bad in this game, but if you hate ice physics, well, there are ice physics, so deal with it. Yep. Yeah. Spark is just better for, for this, because you can just hold down the button, and enemies will walk into you and die. Okay. Alright. There. Okay. So now we just need to get burning. And then we can finally get to the secret room. Which you have to do to get 100%, because it gives you the switch. For the record. Alright. Whoa! Okay, Rock, man. Like, don't need to get so up close and personal, dude. Alright? Jeez. I'm not sure if jumping and then puffing actually is faster than walking normally, but it feels faster, and that's the most important thing. <laughs> uh, there we go. Ah, uh, the map music is still really good, too, for Rainbow Resort. Ah. Uh, okay, so this is... Yep, this is the mini-boss tower. So the game expects you to go through the door here, but... There's a secret entrance up here. With slightly harder enemies, but if you manage to beat it, you get a lot of 1-ups. So, again, if you're playing it on hard mode, you're going to want to do the top row, no matter what. Just so that you can get... Just so that you can get all the 1-ups and actually, like, beat the game. Without having to use a continue. So you can get that high score, man. Which is obviously the most important thing. Is your score. In a Kirby game. Fan Fan! Actually, I think I'm going to switch to Fan Fan after... Uh, Fan Fan. I, we're going to switch to Throw. After I beat the... After I beat him, because... Throw is actually a pretty good ability for boss. it does bosses. It does a lot of damage. What also does a lot of damage is being thrown into the frickin' wall. But yeah, you can see how much harder this this guy is. Like, compare Fan Fan to when we fought him earlier. Like, he's rolling a lot faster as apples go faster. It's just a harder fight. So, and now we've got harder Bugsy, too. Which hopefully shouldn't be too bad. Come on, send out your kids. There you go. There we go. Okay. 
We've only got one hit left, and we've got Fire Leo still left to do after this, too. So this is not free as well. So I, I really... I would like... I usually die once in the mini boss tower. I'd like to be able to get through without dying this time. So we'll see what happens. Um, this remix of King Dedede's theme is fantastic, though. Like, I know the GBA instruments aren't fantastic, but... Something about them just works for this for this fight. I don't know why. Hey, Bugsy. <laughs> okay. Fire Leo, I believe, is the last fight in this um He's the last fight in this in this mini boss tower, so if we can beat him, we should be good. Ah darn it, the sp the star spawned on the wrong side. I couldn't get I couldn't get to that in time. Alright, come on. Come on, jump on me. I'm gonna play it pretty cautiously because I don't wanna I don't wanna die. There we go. Okay. Throwing does do more damage than just spitting out a star for the record. Okay, come on. Man, this is the longest time I've spent fighting Fire Leo in years. Okay, yeah, one more throw should get him. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, jump. Pounce. Gotcha! Oh! This was a bad idea. That was what I was trying to do that entire time. There we go. Okay, we're done. Whew. Yeah, so now we get five one-ups for doing the harder version. And I didn't die this time. That's like the first time I've never died. And like, that's the first time I've gotten through that entire mini boss rush without dying in forever. I usually die at least once. So I'm proud of myself, you know. I have had a few shameful things in this playthrough, but that was actually pretty solid. I'm proud of myself for that. And the game is a little bit kind to you here, and it gives you a max tomato. So that's good. Now, the hardest part of that was just trying to walk into the exit door. <laughs> oh man, I'm terrible. Okay. There we go. Rainbow Resort is... Actually, you know, it's probably about the same length as... um. As Orange Ocean, if we don't count the final boss, it might actually be a little bit shorter, all things considered. It's not... It's a, I just say that this is actually easier than uh, Orange Ocean in a, lot of, in a lot of ways. Like here, we just got a room full of... Uh, uh, no, they're not poppies. Poppies are... Poppy Bros are the, are the ones that would eventually uh, give us bomb. I cannot remember... What the sleepy guys' names are. They had an episode in the anime as well, if I remember correctly. Like, Kirby couldn't stop sleeping after he ate one or something like that. Or after he spent time with one or whatever. The Kirby anime is actually really depressing. Because he, like, makes friends with all these monsters. And, like, they end up dying or he has to fight them or whatever. The episode with, like, Chili is, is really depressing, if I rem remember correctly. The Scarfies are terrifying in the anime too. Although they're terrifying in the games as well. So, that's really not too much of a shock. I could drop the Shotsos, but I'm gonna not, because I don't need that one up, and I'm at full health. So I'd really just rather beat the stage. <laughs> okay, there we go. Stage 3 done. Let's move on to stage 4. I am not using Ball. I refuse. I refuse. That's like my, that's like my one thing. I do not, I'm not using Ball. <laughs> We're done with Ball. Okay. Let's do Tornado, though. Tornado is one of my favorite power-ups spin 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 you spin me right round baby right round like a record baby right yeah tornado is one of my favorites it doesn't appear too often and like it doesn't appear too often game wise like it's not in too many games and you don't get it too often in the games where it does appear but it's just so much fun like there's something chaotic about it but you're pretty much invulnerable when you have it and yeah, I really also like the post, the Squeak Squad and after versions, because those, um, at least starting with Squeak Squad, maybe an earlier game uses it, uh, has this ability, I don't really remember, but at least starting with Squeak Squad, uh, Tornado could break the star blocks, which makes it a lot more useful. So, okay, yeah, I, I love you Tornado, but we gotta go with Burning, because Burning's just a better power-up. Burning's one of the best in the game, actually. If you're, if you're, if you ask me. So, okay. 
There we go. Whoop! Okay, I'm pretty sure I wasn't touching the ground tile there, but whatever, game. You can think that if you want. Also, I love getting 1-ups without having to take damage from Gordos. That's fantastic. Okay. I don't think... Yeah, we don't have to to break open that uh, thing, but it makes it easier for us to get past the Gordo, so I'm going to do it. Especially since I don't want to start this room over again. Bye-bye, birdie. There we go. End of the stage. That's good. Wow, a four. Like, the Kirby's Adventure slash Nightmare in Dreamland end of stage minigames... These are probably the only ones where I can get, like, any number on the spectrum. Because, like, when I'm playing Triple Deluxe or Robobot, the only end-of-stage bonus that I get is either 1, 2, or 7. Because either my timing is right when I'm doing the uh, mini game, so I get the 1. I'm a little bit early, so I get the 2. Or I'm a little bit late, so I get the 7. Like, there's no in-between. Whereas here, it's just I'm so bad at the timing, I can pretty much get anything, and it works. Oh my god, I did not die. Well, now I died, but I'm surprised I actually saved myself from the pit there. Like, that's a little impressive. Like, I mean, not super impressive, because I still ended up dying, but a little impressive. Like, a 2 out of 10 on the impressiveness scale. So not, like, completely unimpressive, but slightly impressive. Okay, hold on. Is this it? Is this the worst? This is it. This is the worst. This is this is the worst fuse in the game. Uh, it doesn't lead to anything important, but the, the jumps here are so small that it's practically impossible to get. And also, you cannot get it with the laser. You cannot. The, uh, okay, we're gonna we're gonna try it. <laughs> uh, okay, we're not trying. We're I, I I'd give it one try, but. Like, I've spent an hour on that fuse before and just have not been able to get it. You don't need it. There's no switch up there. It's just, like, one-ups or other stuff like that. So, yeah. Nope. Okay, so Rainbow Resort only has six stages. Okay, here's one of my all-time favorite levels in the game. It took me forever as a kid to realize what was up with this level because I never played the Game Boy game. But this is actually a recreation of several Gerby's Dreamland 1 stages, which is why they're playing Green Greens in this in this level as well. I mean, it's a little bit questionable that you're having a nostalgic throwback in literally your second installment, but whatever, like, Green Greens is a fantastic song, and Dreamland 1 is a fantastic game, so it deserves to be called back out to. It's also really cool because, like, there's only enemies that were in Dreamland 1 in this in this stage, if I remember correctly. And all of the all of the sprites are taken straight from Dreamland One. The colors, it's oh, it's just so good. Like even the 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 star blocks are, are gray now instead of uh, like the yellowish orange color that they have in the standard game. Okay. Like I I don't think it's even just inspired by Dreamland One. I'm like a good eighty percent sure. That every stage, every room in this in this level is like a one-to-one -one recreation of a Dreamland 1 room. I'm pretty sure. Like, not positive, because I don't go back to Dreamland 1 too often. But, like, I've played it enough times that I'm, I can relatively safely say that there were levels nearly exactly like this in the original. Ah. Uh. Like, it's weird, I can have nostalgia for this level, even though I don't have any nostalgia for the level this level is calling back to, but I still enjoy this level. <laughs> I said level way too many times in that sentence. Okay. So, hold on, I'm gonna want... Needle? Eh, I don't think I want Needle for the final boss fight. I'll go with Cutter. Cutter's a good choice. Um. So anyway, you might think we're done here, but... If you go into the moon... You hit the final switch, which gives us... I think it just gives us, yeah, the, the the warp. Okay. I don't know how I ever found that as a kid, but I did. And it was pretty cool. And if there's ever a moon like that in any of the Kirby games, you know to go you know to go into, to it for some sort of secret. Okay. There we go. Ah, uh, number two for the last uh, minigame. Really? Ah, uh, that's disappointing. 
That is dis disappointing. Okay, here we go. Fi uh, final boss time. If I can get into the door. Uh, this remix of uh, Fountain of Dreams is fantastic. Like, I love King Dedede's theme, but the... And it's one of my favorite Kirby themes, but... The, the Fountain of Dreams version that we got in uh, Melee was just fantastic. I know that the song originally appeared as Gourmet Race, like the melody, but the arrangement style that they went for really didn't appear until Melee, and I'm pretty sure this is its first appearance in an actual Kirby game. So, actually, yeah. Wow, a one-hit DDD, that usually doesn't happen for me. Okay, that, that went pretty well. Yo there, Kirby, I think this is an awfully bad idea. You know, I took that for a reason, and you're being awfully rude beating me up and taking it from me. I think you should listen to what I have to say. Show me, you kid! <laughs> well, now you're gone, done it, Kirby. It's your job to fix this. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. This is Nightmare. Uh, the Nightmare Orb is just really cool looking. I don't know what it is about him that makes it just really cool. But here we have our our obligatory Kirby Gradius styled shooter section. <laughs> They're in, like, there's a shooter section like this in nearly every Kirby game. I'm not sure why. It's just a thing that happens. And man, when I got to this stage as a kid, like, this is, this is where it got real. Like, this was... This is intense right here. Like, this is the definition of of intense. Oh, man. There's something about this ending that's still super... Like, look at all the different galaxies and stuff in the background. It's just awesome. whoops -da! And now we're going to the moon. I don't know why we have to go all the way to the moon, but we are, because it's just cool. The intro to that to that final boss theme is just fantastic. Anyway, this is Nightmare, and this is actually one of the... It's strange, it's not really a super hard final boss, but this is one that gave me all sorts of trouble as a kid. I died... It's And it's mostly psychological, too, because the background's moving. and But you aren't... Like, your position to Nightmare is always static. It's just the moving background. The moving background's used for co cosmetic effect only, but it's super disorienting. But awesome at the same time, so... Yeah. Okay. I, I don't want to die here. Let's... Ah! Damn. Okay. You can either jump into him, because when you're jumping as... Like, you don't even have to press a button. As, as you just jump, you do this spinning attack with the star rod. And you can also shoot it as well. So, you've got a couple of options. Actually, I only just noticed you can't float. You can't float with the Star Rod, oh my god. I've been playing this game for, like, 15 years, and I didn't know that. Damn. Okay. Uh, ah, shoot. So if he's too high up like that, you're probably just better off jumping into him, if I had to guess. Okay, we're like one or two hits away from getting this guy. Come on, let's go. Wait. Yeah, gotcha. Upside... I almost always kill him upside down. And also, that's a... F that death animation always freaks me out. Like, every time I play. And now we're blowing up the moon! Awesome. So, if you get 100% complete on the normal playthrough, then you can get the extra mode, which is the hard version, where you have three health. It's pretty nuts. Our hero Kirby has fought bravely to recover the Star Rod. But King Dedede didn't mean any harm. He certainly wasn't trying to harm the Fountain of Dreams. It all began when the nightmares appeared in the fountain. 
The nightmares rode the currents of the Fountain of Dreams, wreaking havoc and tormenting the residents of Dreamland. When King Dedede hid the Star Rod, the power source for the Fountain of Dreams, he was actually hiding it safely away from the nightmares. Borrowing King Dedede's power, Kirby managed to defeat the Nightmares. Now that the Star Rod is returned to the fountain, everyone's dreams will return. So fluff up your pillow and get ready for a good night's sleep. Kirby, that's an incredibly powerful and dangerous artifact. You should maybe try not chucking it next time. <laughs> maybe? Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, this ending music is so good. Oh. Um, I love this. This is, like, again, I didn't beat too many games growing up. I wasn't great at games, and a lot of the times I kind of just lost focus. So this being one of the first Kirby games I ever completed, it was just oh, so good. I love this game. This is, to, my, to this day, one of my top favorite Kirby games. Uh, whenever I go back to it, I just have a huge smile on my face, even during the slightly annoying bits or slightly frustrating bits. I'm always I'm always enjoying myself. I'm always having a great time. This game is full of character, full of charm, full of love. You know, this is just a game that puts me in a happy place and like I, I just I hope that everybody has a game like this. It doesn't necessarily have to be this game, although if it is this game, that's fantastic. But I, I just hope everybody has a game that, you know, lets them be like lets them put themselves at peace like this, I guess. It's it's, I know it's kind of cheesy to, <laughs> to say it like that, but, you know, I... Well, I guess, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I guess if I just paid attention to the, during the credits, I could have found out that, oh, sucking up a star from a boss actually gave me a power. Whatever. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, I just... This game always just makes me really happy whenever I play it, and... I... Oh, it's just so good. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. Um, if there's a demand for it, I could I could do some of the extra stuff in this game. Like, I don't think I'd want to do another playthrough of Extra Mode, because it pretty much is the same game. Like, almost completely it's the same exact game as normal Nightmare in Dreamland. It's just a little bit... Uh, it's just harder. You've got less health. Um, but Meta Knight Mode, I've done a playthrough of on Brain Scratch, if you want to check it out. But if there's demand, I could do a Meta Knight Mode playthrough here. Um, I could also show off the boss endurance mode, which is really hard, and I don't know if I would be able to beat it, because you have to beat every boss in the game with six health, which, so yeah, it's it's not easy, but ah, uh, this game's so, so good. I love, I love Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, one of my all-time favorite Kirby games, and again, it's pretty easy to find. I don't think GBA carts are too expensive, and it's on the Wii U Virtual Console for eight bucks, so you should give it a shot. It's one of the best. So anyway, that's about it for me. I'll have something else coming up soon. Um, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough, and I'll see you all later.